Well, this is one of the few days that we've had some decent weather. We've had so much rain and wind the last few days. You can see there's a bunch of boats out behind me. I'm fishing in pretty deep water and I'm just using a blade bait. And uh, I just started. This is my first fish on. So it's gonna be interesting to see what it is. Not a lot of guys are out because uh, this is late in the year and the water levels are pretty low here on Lake Ontario. So we're going to see how we do here. First fish on a blade bait. It'll be interesting to see what it is. Uh, feels pretty heavy. Got this bait caster because uh, yeah, it's a nice little channel cat. I didn't know if I was going to get walleye or uh, channel cats. So this guy's a nice eating size, but he's my uh, first fish. So we're going to let him go. Uh, look at that. I tell people they got to be real careful when they're handling catfish. So this guy. Let's see here. There, there's those nice um, barbs on their fins. Let's see if I can just uh, pop that out. They've got pretty uh, soft gums. Look, isn't that a nice channel cat? You know, when you get these younger channel cats, they're almost silver, like uh, trout almost. You can see the spots that it's got on it. That it's, they're like a silver green, olive green color. Look at, I think they're beautiful. Those barbells that they can sense the food that's along the bottom. Um, their eyesight isn't so good, but this ladder line is really good for detecting uh, movement on the bottom. So I might try running some bait fish, some minnows later, and see if I can get some to hit. That's a beautiful fish. Okay, time to get him back in the water. Should go right down to the bottom. Oh yeah, straight down. This is the blade bait I was using. This one is uh, a half ounce. Let's see if I can get the sun on it. You can see how uh, brilliant that is. It's like a gold color. Um, you can see that it's got uh, three different hole positions when you're hooking it up. Uh, the one I've got it on right now is for vertical jigging. If I was casting and retrieving it, I'd put it on the front. And uh, if I, I wanted to bounce the bottom, I'd put it on the back one so that the head would be down further. So I'm just going to show you the action this thing has. Um, I've got it on a bait caster. This is the ducket. It's a seven. It's actually the Micro Magic, seven feet long, and it's ideal because it's a multi-species rod. I've got 20-pound braid on here, which is nice. So I don't know if I can show you. Uh, it's hard. Oh, you should, might be able to see it if I bring it in closer. Okay. So that blade bait, when I bring it up, I snap it. You can see that it's got a really nice side to side action, vibrating action. The fish usually hit when it's on the drop, but sometimes uh, they'll hit it when it's moving up. They'll come off the bottom and grab it. I find this lure works especially well in the cold weather. You know, when the water temperature goes like 60, feet, uh, 60 uh, degrees Fahrenheit or lower, and when the fish are in deeper water. Right now I'm jigging in about 50, 60 feet of water. I'll tell you what, if you haven't tried a, a blade bait like this, they are excellent. I love the bend on this ducket rod. Oh yeah. I'm gonna let the drag off a little bit because it could be a bigger fish. It's coming out of deep water, but it still has lots of fight. Man, you know, I love multi-species fishing. This is one of the things that I love to do. You never know what you're gonna get in the fall. You can get big pike, channel catfish, you can get uh, walleye. This guy's fighting good. Good size fish. Oh yeah, that is a beauty. Come on. There we go. Uh, 
That's a nice fish. You know what? Sometimes it's worth just waiting to get a nice fish like that. He's gonna get that hook out of it. He's not hooked too bad. Just gonna see if I can grab him by both. Uh, uh, like that. This guy's probably gonna be about uh, eight, nine pounds. He's, he's hooked just in the side of the mouth, which is great. I'll tell you what, they've got tough mouths. There we go. That hook is out. That is a beautiful fish. And uh, I can't really hold him. Well, maybe I can underneath the gills here. Let me see. You gotta take your time here because they've got these spines. Got to be very careful. I just want to show you this guy before I release him. Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous fish? Man, that is a nice channel cat. Look at beautiful colors. I love that face. Face that only a mother can love. That's a beautiful fish. Okay, time to get him back. This time I'm going to use the net for the release because this guy is bigger. And, you know, one thing about uh, channel cats, they are pretty hardy. So the only thing is those spines can get caught in the mesh. Let's see if I can get a unravel. Oh, there he goes. Gone. Man, that was exciting.